Hey folks, sunshine today, a lot of sunshine tomorrow. Tomorrow's going to be hot. These are your current temperatures though. Right now we're in the 70s, 74 Harlan's and Port Isabel's at 75. McAllen 76 at this hour. Your lows tonight should drop into the upper 60s and low 70s. And then tomorrow, well, it's going to be warm. 96 in Rio Grande City, 95 in McAllen. You see most of the readings in the 90s. The exception, South Padre and Brownsville, 80 and 87 degrees. Temperatures stay up around 90 each of the next seven days. We still stay well above that seasonal average of 82. We don't see a day at that level or cooler at all anytime soon. We're going to stay at least normal, if not above, for quite some time. Now, there are, are some cool temperatures up in the panhandle. 43 in Amarillo right now. Abilene's at 58, Odessa at 59, but we get into our part of Texas and temperatures are still in the 70s from here all the way up to Laredo. A pretty good band of showers and thunderstorms from East Texas all the way down into Southeast Texas tonight. Some strong storms running around Houston tonight. It's a very thin band moving through that area, but notice the southern edge of it, nowhere near us. We talked all week about a very slight possibility of a sprinkle of that line stretching this far south, but looks like we're not going to have that happen, even with the front kind of washing out as it moves across. So tomorrow we stay very dry and we stay very warm. Temperatures tomorrow night, tomorrow afternoon rather likely up into the mid to upper 90s in the west as we showed you. On Sunday, still warm. Sunday though is breezy again. The southeasterly wind kicks back in as low pressure comes in from the west and that draws air in off the Gulf of Mexico. So it's still warm, but it's breezy and that wind more out of the southeast than south, so it tends to kind of put a lid on temperatures when that flow comes off the Gulf. On Monday, the next front sneaks by just to the north again, so we stay dry again. We don't cool off again, and things just don't change. Let's go to Wednesday. Next front on the map. This one moving across Texas out ahead of it, showers and thunderstorms. And notice once again, like we talked about for today, the stuff gets close but doesn't quite get here. We're probably rain free, a slight chance, maybe 10% chance of something. Drier air should build in behind this front on Thursday. Notice the upper level winds come out of the northwest. That should dry the atmosphere a little bit, lower the humidity a little bit, but it doesn't cool it off. We stay warm all the way into the end of next week. So here we go. We're dry all the way to Wednesday. 10% chance of a shower on Wednesday, then we're dry again on Thursday and Friday. Traveling in Texas tomorrow, you'll start the day in San Antonio at 59, Midlands at 48, Dallas at 57 in the morning, and afternoon temperatures climb back in the 70s and 80s across the entire state. If you're looking for something to do on Sunday, come join us at Storm Fury in uh, FAR, the Bogus Ford Event Center, noon to four. Hands on weather science event for kids. Kids bring your parents. Parents will have a good time too. A lot of takeaways, a lot of fun stuff stuff and parents this stuff's all correlated to the state science standards so they go away learning something they're going to be able to use on the test someday in the morning 79 degrees by afternoon this is the coast by the way temperatures about 80 or so uv index remains extreme so for the valley for tonight we bottom out in the mid 60s and then tomorrow we're back up warmer than that back up to about 94 the next seven days we keep it warm temperatures close to 90 every day nighttime lows close to 70. that is your updated first 1-5 forecast